I am with Aaron and Ben Napier, and I'm so excited they're from HGTV's hometown. And thank you both for being here. I'm gonna talk about a new collection they're doing with Vaughn Bassett, and it is called Passageway. So yeah. first of all, I haven't seen you since you've had a new baby. I, I yeah. just have to say, it's been a long time. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. you so much. In terms of having a collection and bringing it to people's homes and having a part of you in people's homes, how's that make you feel from where you started years ago to being in people's homes? It's weird. It, it is, is weird. Uh, yeah. I mean, it is a, a really wonderful. It's a big honor. Weird thing. Yeah, I've been, um, I'm writing a lot lately and thinking about what home means and the objects that we surround ourselves with become part of the fabric of our life, you know, and it's what, it's, you know, if you buy a Von Bassett bed, then that might be the bed that you're still sleeping on 20 years from now. It just becomes a part of your life and the scenery of it every day. Our homes are more than just a beautiful show place. That's not what home is. Home doesn't look like this, right? It's, yeah. It's a real place and a real thing. And the things that Von Bassett makes are made for life. They're yeah. forever pieces of furniture. And that's the only kind of goods that we want to attach ourselves to. You know, the fact that people are going to live with these pieces in their houses and they're going to become attached to them. And they're going to remember, like we, we have a, a three-year-old and a four-month-old at home. And, you know, every morning, if or every weekend, I should say, uh, they come and get in bed with us and, you know, we snuggle up and, you know, tell stories and laugh at each other and... Um, ben is, we were looking on the flight here, we just look at pictures of the girls because we miss them when we're apart. And there are so many pictures of the four of us in bed snuggled up in the morning and those are going to be such precious memories. It's just cool that those are the things that we get to make and be a part of. How do you suggest consumers make what you do feel like what you do in their home. Because I know it's about you, but you know, people just go, I want that, but that's you, not them. I don't know that you can, because for us, home is such a personal thing. But... Making home personal is important. Yeah. And I don't know how to tell people to do it. Yeah. I don't, I have to get to know people really well through a whole lot of questions. And uh, that's how we design houses on hometown is I gotta know what makes you weird, because weird is kind of wonderful. People always like to know an untold story or a thought about what you might be doing in the future. Anything you can share with us besides your writing more, so maybe it'll become another book. Yeah. Something that's happening that we can know about. We've told people about um, my children's book. It's coming out in May called The Lantern House. That It really goes more in depth about the things that we love about home. It's not about how pretty it is. It's about what home means and the way our houses take care of us. And it's a story about generations growing up in a house and the ways that house is a watcher and a keeper of the people inside. It's written from the point of view of the house. Yeah. And so that'll be coming out in May. Yeah, that's coming out. And uh, of course, we're, you know, filming season six of Hometown right now. And um, it's, there is a lot. There's a lot more coming that we can't talk about quite yeah. yet. <laughs> it's exhausting to just think about. No babies, though. This is not a baby announcement. <laughs> We have plenty of babies right now. I get it. One last question is about, you love to use um, recycled pieces or bring old into it, but one of the things that we in the furniture industry want to do is have people buy new furniture. Mm -hmm. So can you talk about that mixture of bringing old and new together? Like in my shop, I can build one of a kind pieces. The thing that makes reclaimed wood or the wood that I build with in my shop so special is that it is imperfect and it's perfectly imperfect. That's what people love about it is the, the nail holes and the knots and the cracks and because it, it gives a little bit of, of a story and that's what people are like. I mean, if you, um, people have, you know, problems and scars and, and so we connect with that on a personal level when we see it and I could really do a deep dive right now and nerd out on this. And another way of talking about it is to have a mix of old and new things in your home is the only way to make it feel really lived in and layered, I think. Our house is a mix of antiques and new pieces and I think that's the best way to make a house feel really well curated and lived in. And that's something that um, the Bassets, have, like their furniture pairs so well with antique furniture. These pieces will be antiques one day because yeah. they're going to last. 
Yeah, that's perfect. Well, I'm excited that um, y'all have joined me at yeah, the absolutely. High Point showroom and taken some time away from the children. So thank you very much thank you for having us. Thank yeah. you very much again, Ben and Aaron Napier. Thank you.